Hey there, friends on YouTube. Welcome back or welcome if you're new to the channel. I'm Chris Kennedy, Orlando real estate agent. In this video, we're going to take a look at the $1 million price range homes and what we can expect to find in and around Central Florida. First, we'll take a look at where we can find all of those homes on the MLS. I'll show you the back end of that. Then we'll take a look at a deeper dive on what to expect for each of those areas. And finally, I want to share some off-market opportunities or potential new construction opportunities that we won't find on the typical search platforms that we know of or the MLS. Home sales in this price range have increased dramatically. They have doubled year over year. So it is becoming a little more challenging to find homes in this price range. So I do hope you find this helpful. So if you're ready, let's go take a look. So here we are looking at the back of the MLS on the map view. I have the search criteria set from $900,000 up to 1.1 million, and it's showing you every type of home that is listed on the MLS. This is probably exactly what you see on any of the typical search platforms. In no particular order, let's quickly go through around uh, what, where we can find these homes, then we'll look at a deeper dive. A pocket around downtown, a pocket around uh, Winter Park and Maitland, Lake Mary and the Heathrow part or subdivisions of Lake Mary, Sorrento, Mount Dora, Tavares area, uh, just to the southwest of Lake Apopka, sprinkled around Groveland and Claremont, Mineola, the Windermere, Dr. Phillips area, Horizon West, um, the Four Corners, Davenport area, and then finally uh, sprinkled around Kissimmee, Ponciana, and uh, Lake Nona area or Laureate Park. Let's take a deeper dive. Uh, first, let's just go to Central Florida or downtown Orlando and then spread out from there. Uh, near downtown Orlando, typical is historic homes or maybe new construction townhomes or condominiums, right? Here's a couple of examples of some condos at the view. And then you can look at some nice townhomes like this. Uh, one's a brand new modern one and one's, uh, you know, five years old, six years old. That's quite nice. Heading north to Winter Park, you can find some new construction townhomes or potential resales like a Florida ranch style home. Then Maitland will have a mixture of resales and um, new construction opportunity as well. Heading east toward Oviedo, there are some new construction townhomes that look like this. Heading up toward Lake Mary, you can find some resales or new construction homes that look like this. And then Heathrow will have some resales or a potential new community over here. I think Lennar is building this one. Yes, Lennar at the Markham Glen Landings. I'm sorry, Lake Markham Landings. Then heading west a little bit, you have the Sorrento, Mount Dora area in Tavares. I believe it's Kevco that's building some new homes out here. And if you go just south of Lake Apopka, this is Bella Colina. This area has one of the nicest golf courses that's part of the communities, and there are a few different builders in this community. Uh, these will probably be resales around Claremont and, uh, and Mineola and, and Groveland. Horizon West, this is a new Toll Brothers house, and there'll be some more of those that aren't on the MLS. I'll share more later. The Windermere, Dr. Phillips area, these are probably all going to be resales. There might be some new construction opportunities here and there. And then heading south, if you get to that Davenport area or just south of Disney, these are the vacation communities or the short-term rental communities. Um, some of them like Reunion, uh, Champions Gate, Windsor Hills, Windsor Island Resort, these are some of the communities. Um, there are some new construction communities like in Windsor Island Resort uh, that are not going to be on the MLS, but they do have inventory. However, you might be on a wait list for a community like that. Heading over to Lake Nona region, uh, the Laureate Park has a couple of resales at the moment of this video, uh, but there is a new community by Toll Brothers that I'll get into more in a little bit on this video. And then Belle Isle, this is uh, the Conway region. This is probably, yeah, a resale Florida ranch that might look like this. So now let's get into where we can find some of this off-market opportunity, particularly the new constructions that we're not gonna find on the MLS. 
So Orlando has every type of builder you can think of from custom home builders to semi-custom home to the big production spec home builders where you can basically just take the home how it is. In no particular order, let's uh, work our way from the south side to the north side of Orlando. In the Lake Nona area, there's a new community called Laurel Point. This is built by Toll Brothers, and it's a small gated community with uh, really close access to everything Lake Nona has to offer. Uh, the home prices here start at around $900,000, and they're going to increase from there depending on the type of finishes and the lot location that you choose. The same builder, Toll Brothers, has another community in the Horizon West area called Lakeshore. The home prices there are going to be a little bit higher compared to Laurel Point and Lake Nona, so it would be a smaller home with probably less desirable finishes if you want to stay under that 1.1 range for this community. So now let's look at where we can find some custom homes or semi-custom homes around Orlando. First, let's look at Winter Garden. Just to the west of Winter Garden, there is a town called Oakland, or it's its own municipality. Beautiful area. You can get a custom home built from, uh, there are a few different custom home builders, David Weekly, uh, a larger builder, but they can do kind of a semi-custom option for you. Heading over to some of the more established or older areas of Orlando, Winter Park, College Park, Baldwin Park, uh, you'll see that there's not much inventory on the MLS, um, for new construction at least. However, there are plenty of opportunities to get some new construction homes in the area and under that 1.1 range for, let's say, a 2,700 to 3,000 square foot home, depending on if you're going to get a pool or not. What happens is a lot of these uh, custom homes or semi-custom home builders do not always put their available lots or vacant land for sale on the multiple listing service. They kind of just house it on their website or keep it as a pocket listing. Uh, there are a handful of builders, some more mass production builders like David Weekly, uh, Domain Homes, which I'm familiar with from Tampa, are, have made their way over to Orlando and College Parks, one of their areas. They have about six or seven, maybe even 10 um, home sites available that they're starting to develop already. So we'll see those come to the market uh, later this year. And um, there are, again, some other local smaller builders as well. Heading over to Baldwin Park, we won't find much there as new construct for, for new construction because it's basically completely developed. But in between that area, the Audubon Park, Colonial Town, uh, David Weekly, and some more uh, local custom builders, are putting up spec homes here and there. So keeping your eye out and having your boots on the ground is important to know if you are looking for, for those areas. Winter Park is going to be very difficult to stay uh, under 1.1 for new construction just because the land value itself is, is so high, it's going to be almost impossible to keep a brand new home under 1.1 in today's market, at least in the 32789 zip code. There is a new construction townhome community that's not yet on the market that will be priced in the low 900s on Lake Spire next to Baldwin Park in between Winter Park. So keep an eye out for that. And you'll see some scattered uh, custom homes in that price range around Maitland as well. So I know I mentioned a lot of different types of homes and communities in this video. So for convenience, I'll leave a link in the description to my website where you can find a link to all of these different builders and communities. As well, I'll leave a link to all of the listings that were on this search. Although if you're watching this a few weeks from today, I'm sure many of them are not going to be available based on the pace of our market. If you found this helpful, I do appreciate it if you gave me a like, and if you have any questions about real estate in the area, always happy to have a conversation. Look forward to seeing you all on the next one.